everyone welcome back to another video on my channel so today i want to try and keep this intro nice and short because i have a mammoth task ahead of me so this video is going to be a huge declutter my whole nail collection i am decluttering so a couple little points I want to mention before I start. It's probably going to be a long video, so definitely get a cup of tea. I feel like it's going to take me a while, so yeah. And secondly, with all the stuff that I'm decluttering, I'm hopefully going to be able to declutter a lot. That's my aim anyway. I just have too much stuff and I'm feeling really like cluttered in my brain and not feeling too creative. So I feel like I need to clear out and all my nail stuff so that I can actually see what I've got and really utilise it and just feel a little bit more freer and creative and stuff so i'm not so cluttered and i've been watching a ton of makeup video declutters on youtube and they are so addictive and it's been making me want to declutter everything one last thing with all the stuff that i'm going to declutter i'm going to be putting it into a few different piles i'll have like old and expired stuff so things that have gone off that are out of date that i've had for way too long than i should have so they'll be going into the bin then i'll have stuff that i've used a lot but are still good and if any of my nail tech friends want them then I'll be giving them to them. Anything that's brand new that I don't want to use anymore, I'm gonna be keeping for a giveaway for you guys in the future and just keeping it in my little giveaway pot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, I think we should get cracking because yeah, I'm gonna be here a while. So much for a really short intro, this turned into a very long intro. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get changed into some more comfy clothes and we're gonna get to cluttering. Wish me luck. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start in these drawers here because this is where I keep, well, there's nail varnish in here. This drawer's full of nail varnish. Where I want to start is with all my gels first. So I've got loads of different brands like Magpie and Indigo. These have got loads of different top coats and base coats from so many different brands and different builder gels from different brands. In here we've got Gel to Link, Gelish. Pro Gel, Glossify. The next draw down is all from Nails By, Piara Sky, The Manicure Company, these are Glissabelle's, Ugly Duckling, just like a variety in there. Next draw down, these are all Madame Glam and then a few OPI on the edge. And then lastly, this last draw is full of Gel Water Link. So I have got quite a lot to work through and I feel like I want to tackle these first because I feel like this is the bit that I'm most dreading. I do also have all of these gels up here. I'm going to be keeping these, pretty much all of them because I use and love these the most at the moment. So these guys are all going to be staying but these guys here, they're like, I mean let's just talk about the fact that the salon is an absolute mess at the moment so okay so my setup is cardboard box for everything that's just going straight in the bin that is just nasty that is out of date and really old can go in the bin in the cardboard box this bin here is stuff that has been used a lot that will go to nail tech friends if they want it and then i'm also going to put in here gel polishes that maybe have been swatched once or twice or used once i'm going to try and sell them to make some money back of all the money that i spent and invested anything that i was gifted i will be giving away to friends or if it's new i will be putting it in the giveaway so that is the setup that's the situation so first off in this drawer i've got some indigo polishes i haven't actually used any of these yet and they were very kindly gifted to me so don't even think i've swatched this fluff oh that's because the package it came in had like a fairy rug in it it was really cute that's an awesome colour, very very bright, they seem quite pigmented. This is going to be so much harder than I thought. I really want to be able to gloss, to completely declutter and get rid of like at least these two drawers full worth of polish and just have the bottom four drawers of gels so that I can free up two drawers here. So that's the goal, to at least clear out two drawers worth. But this is going to be hard. I don't I feel like, gosh, that is such a nice blue. Why haven't I used this yet? This is going to be hard. Oh, this is a glass colour. That's a really nice glass colour. Okay, that's keeping. At least I've made one decision. Oh, wow. Okay, this looks like a little bit of me. Yeah, that's a really cool pink. I'm going to keep that. It's kind of like blue toned and really pigmented. So this can stay gluten free what a name that is a really nice nude color okay i cannot keep them all 
this is this is definitely not going very well okay oh my gosh amazing so what's this one base primer cleaner base coat what else have we got in here are these any base coats or top coats because they'll go in a different drawer okay so i think these are all just normal oh that's another base so i'm going to put all of these in the this drawer here to sort through because that's all like the base coats and top coats okay i'm going to pass that one on it's a really nice red but i have loads of reds i think i'm just going to put this pink container to put all the stuff that i haven't used in that will be going for the giveaway. So that's unused, that is gifted, so that goes straight into the giveaway. This looks quite nice. There's literally fuzzy and fluff on all of these. That is a really nice chocolatey warm brown, so I'm gonna keep that one. But okay, that one can go. That doesn't float my boat. I've got rid of two. I suppose that's progress. That blue is awesome. What color is this one? That's like a coral. I'm gonna pass that along because I know I've got lots of corals. So I think I might keep the, let's try and get rid of two of these. Okay, I'm gonna pass along that pale pink and then I think I'll keep the darker pink and this neon and the blue. Okay, so that's what I'm keeping. And that's what I'm getting rid of. So it's okay. I know it's only four polishes, but we're just getting going and maybe I'll revisit it and maybe I'll be able to declutter some more. Let's just get through these. I feel like I know the ones I'm gonna keep and not keep. There's some really fun colors. The bottles need cleaning, so that'll be definitely the next step. I'm definitely keeping this one. It definitely needs a good stir, but it's such a funky color. It's Limeada from Magpie. It's such a cool color. So I'm gonna keep that one. There is definitely some of these in here that I know I can pass along. I might pick out some of the ones that I just know I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep Pick a Lily because that's a really nice warm yellow. And I'm gonna keep Bobby Dazzler. This one is really well used and well loved, but I really like the color. Okay, this is really well loved and I'm pretty sure it's almost empty. Oh, there's a little bit left in there, but this is old. This was one of the first colors I got from Magpie Black Betty. So I'm just gonna throw this one in the bin. It is so old and there's only a little bit left. So I'm gonna pop that one in the bin. Georgie Porgy. This is a really nice color. I think I'm gonna keep that one. I think what I'll do is put all the keeps in this corner for now and then I can build some up. Another one that is really really old is Plain Jane. Again there's only a tiny little bit left in there and it, and it's so old. Probably like this is back when they first brought out all the magpie gels so it's really really old. Past its sell by date. That is a really really nice cat got the cream. A nice pale nose. I'll keep that one. I think this can go, this is go with the flow, but there's a lot in there and it's pretty new. So I'm gonna pop that into the maybe sell or give to a friend that uses Magpie. That is a really pretty color. I'm gonna keep that for now. So this color is well loved, but there's quite a bit left in there. So I think I might give that to a friend, clean the bottle up, see if they want that. This is a colour that I really, really liked, but had loads of issues with it curing under the lamp. It always used to wrinkle, and I know that I wasn't the only one that had that issue, so I'm gonna pop that one in the bin. So I'm just gonna put back in colors I'm gonna keep. I may go back through these and get rid of some. OK, 
okay guys that is what i'm keeping in this drawer so i cleared out a lot because it goes right back underneath there and i may even go through this again and declutter it down some more this is so far everything that i'm getting rid of and then i've got i've got six bottles in the bin so i'm doing okay i'm doing okay i feel like i'm gonna skip this straw next because it's just top coats and base coats for them all so that's what i need because i try and i like to try and keep the systems in use in their full one i do use them I think next draw down is this one to tackle i've got a few bottles of glossify i think i've only got three here they are and they're all really lovely colors and i haven't got enough use out of them this nude is really nice so i'm gonna keep all three of them so now let's go on to the pro gel let's move on to those guys I think I might keep these guys. I think I've got some cat eye gels. These ones are all cat eyes. Are they cat eye? That one's cat eye as well. These ones are all cat eye gels from the Pro Gel. I'm gonna keep these because cat eyes are amazing, really cool effects. You can do some awesome stuff with them and you can never have enough colors of them and they're really beautiful. They're so pigmented. I highly recommend these cat eyes. So I'm gonna keep those guys. I thought I had six of them. Hmm. Here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those six so they can stay. And then I think I've just got four kind of regular colors from them. That is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. I might just keep these because they're such nice colors. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep them because they're the only pro gels I have anyway. So I'm gonna keep them. Now I think the rest that's left in here is pretty much all from the gel to link. So I really wanna try and get at least so that they're all laying flat in here and they're not like there's not really scrubs on top i know that some of these in here are really really old and some of them are very well loved and need to go in the bin and then some i can pass on i've got lots of nail tech friends that use gel bottle links so that's cool and then um yeah i bought all of the gel bottle link polishes well i would say 95 percent of all the gels i have i bought myself every single the gel bottle link polish i bought myself none of them are gifted to me so um it's kind of heartbreaking going through this drawer because the amount of money i invested well and the magpie gels i almost had the whole collection of magpie gels they did give me a couple but the majority of them i bought so to think how much money that we spend and invest in gels is crazy. I'm gonna work through all these ones on top first. What's this color? This is a cat eye from Gel Bottle Link. I'm not really fussed on this one. It doesn't give too much of a strong effect. So I think I'm going to declutter that one. Mulberry is also really pretty. It's really like muted purple. That one can stay too. I'm kind of paying attention to the lids as well. These are the newer bottles and the ones with like the names and then especially the ones with the numbers on. The ones with the numbers on are really, really old. So I'm just gonna make sure the consistency is okay. This is a color. I think I might just pick out the colors that I really wanna keep first. Like this, I love it. It's so unique. I can't find anything like this in any other brand. That's definitely staying. Sonia staying. Sonia is really nice. This is one of the very old ones, one of my first gels that I bought. And this was definitely bought probably like four years ago, if not longer, like literally when it first came out. And the consistency's off. I kind of look out for a funny smell or the consistency changing or the color changing. And that's kind of how you know if it's gone off or not. So that one can go in the bin. I think this is like a clear cat eye. I'm not gonna get any use out of it. So I'm gonna declutter that one. Found this random gel in the pot it's from red carpet i think this ages ago was one of my clients i had a client that loved this it's like a really pretty rose gold color and i just kept it just for her so yeah i'm gonna pass it on along now as i don't do her anymore 
seriously running out of space. I feel like I just can't let go of some of these because they're so cool. But I can already see colours that look so similar to each other. So many of these colours look so, so samey. These all look the same. It's th There's too many that look too similar. So I feel like some of these need to go. because that gel bottle ink drawer was baffling my head because there's just so many colours that are the same. I feel like I actually need to think hard about it whereas these have got a ton of various different things. So I feel like this drawer is going to be easier to go through. Some of these are quite old, like this one. And I know when I last painted this colour, it'd gone all funny, it all separated. And even with stirring it, it just went a weird consistency. Something's going in the bin. And there, I'm going to, I think I'm going to clutter most of these because I just don't use them. I never really think to reach for them. I'm going to keep the couple of odd colours that are really unique, like this mustardy colour. Most of them have only been used once or twice, so I'm going to just chuck them into the declutter box. Pass those along. I'm put that one in the declutter. This one is so unique. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, let's just get them all out and we'll put back in the drawer the ones I'm going to keep. It's like a nude, it's almost used up, so I'm gonna chuck that in the bin. This is so hard. I feel like I need to go on one of those TV shows where they do it for you. This is a really nice sheer nude, so I'm gonna keep that because I use sheer nudes as my base a lot, so I know I'll get a lot of use out of that one. That can stay. Right, I've done those. I kept a little more than I'd like to. I thought I was gonna be able to get rid of most of them. I think now I'm gonna move on to the nails by because they're scattered all over the top. Okay, let's move on to these guys down here. I've got two Kiara Sky ones. They've got some really nice, unique, colors like this one here it's called treasure the night really unique color so i'm gonna keep that one i'm trying just to keep like unique colors so If they don't fit into four drawers, then they gotta go. So we'll see. And then I haven't gone through all these ugly duckling ones. I love the ugly duckling gel polishes, so I'm probably gonna keep most of them. I've just seen that there's more gel bottle link ones behind here. So I'm just gonna move them up into the drawer above quickly. So I'm going to go through these ugly duckling ones here at the front. Although I think I'm going to find this hard because they are such beautiful consistency. I absolutely love all of these from ugly duckling. So this is going to be hard. Let's check what colour this is. Okay, so that's quite similar to one that I already have from gel bottles. So I might leave that in there for now and then compare the two and see which one I prefer later on. I think maybe this one I can pass along. Oh no, it's so pretty though. I've definitely got a similar colour in the Nails by Gel, so I'm gonna compare the two and see which one I prefer. Oh, this Periwinkle Blue is so nice, but it's so old, so old. I think, I think it's gone off. I don't think you'll even be able to see it in camera, but it's got some odd colours in it and it's definitely, it smells a little different to the others. And um, this was one of my first Ugly Duckling colours. So I think that one can go. And then what's this one? Oh, I think this is one of, yeah, this is one of the first ones as well. You can kind of see it's got some interesting colours in there. Sometimes it's just the pigments that need a good mix around. But sometimes it is a sign that the polishes have gone off and this polish is really old and it smells the same as that other one I put in the bin. So I'm going to put that one in the bin too. 
The Declutter box is definitely getting a bit more full. So it's about, I would say, a third full at the moment. The aim is to fill this full of gels. So I fill that full of gels that I'm decluttering and then make space so they can all fit in four drawers in here. So I think I'm gonna move down to this drawer now. Okay, so in this drawer, there's a few already that I can see that I'm gonna declutter and it's these four here. These are from Toppers. I'm gonna declutter them. And then down the side here, I've got some gels from OPR. I don't have many. I used to have loads more than this, but I did declutter them quite a while ago now. So these are the only ones I have left. That is a really fun yellow, so I'm gonna keep that one. I'm just gonna put the ones that I'm gonna keep in this top drawer. So right, the rest in here, I'm pretty sure are all from Madame Glam. I'm pretty sure some of these haven't even been used and a couple were gifted. So if there's some that were gifted and they haven't been used, I can pop them in the giveaways, but some of them are a bit dusty like this one. So here we go. So I've got two of these, which are the perfect gold. I'm pretty sure this one's the one that hasn't been used yet. Yeah, that hasn't been used. So I'll pop that into the giveaway. I've got two of the perfect yellow. I'll pop that one into the giveaway. I'm gonna keep all of the Madame Glam cat eye colours because they're really nice consistency and they work really well. I've only got a few of them anyway, so I'm just gonna keep those guys. I love the Madame Glam formula. The pigmentation is amazing. They're just really good polishes and you can buy them if you're not professional as well, which is cool for you guys that do your nails at home. Some of these colours are very similar. So this is the result of the Madame Glam draw. These are all the ones I'm decluttering. There's 11 over here that will be going into the giveaway and 18 over here that I will be either selling or gifting to nail tech friends. So yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. 29 gels from the Madame Glam draw all done. And I feel like the drawer is looking so good as well. Let me just show you. So this is the Madame Glam collection that I've got left now. So these are the ones that I'm keeping. I feel like I downsized these guys pretty good. And there's lots of space in here now. So I might have a shuffle of things round, see if I can fit some of the other guys that I'm keeping from this drawer into here too. See if I can get it down to just one drawer. Okay guys, huge update. I've cleared out one drawer, so we're one drawer down of Target, one more drawer down to go. And what I've done is I put a load of the gels that I'm keeping in this drawer here and in the second drawer up. There is still space right at the back. Now is on to the task of all the Gel Boss Link ones. I definitely built up a quite large collection of all the gel butter ink ones over the years so i have got a couple of drawers to get through and i need to get these down so they fit into just two drawers so that is going to be a bit of a challenge i think i need to get rid of at least like 30 or 40 of them so yeah wish me luck hey guys thought i'd just quickly jump in front of the camera this is taking so much longer than i thought it would so i think this might even have to be like a three part video but i'm gonna try and like film it all and maybe i'll upload them as i'm going because i'm only on the gels i've still got all my acrylic to go through stamping all of the, my nail art to go through over there all those like clear drawers i need to go through them as well and all of these drawers i even forgot like all of these drawers i need to go through this has got more gel in it like pot gels if you stuck through until this point 
you deserve a medal. I was hoping I could get all these gels done tonight because it's now quarter to 11 on Easter Sunday and I've been at this for a couple of hours now. I wanted to try and get through all the gels, do the varnishes and do all my acrylic powders but I just don't think that's going to happen. So I think I'm going to try and finish all the gels tonight. I have already decluttered all of these gels and cleared out a whole door so I feel like I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. But yeah, I'm going to continue onto the gel bottling drawers now. I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get back to the cluttering because it's late and I wanna be out of here in 45 minutes, so. So I think what I might do is take all the gels out of the drawers for the gel bottling ones and then put back in the ones that I actually want to keep. That way I think as soon as I see it start filling up, I know that I haven't got much space left and I can't keep any more. So hopefully that will help me declutter some of these gels down. Okay guys, I barely have any room because I'm literally surrounded by all of the gel bottle ink colors. They are all around me, but the drawers are now empty. I'm ready to go, so what doesn't fit in these two drawers has got to go. So there's some of my favourite colours. This colour has gone a bit thick and the consistency has changed. This was one of the first colours I ever bought from Gel Bottle. And it's one of their oldest because it has the number on it. So they used to have numbers on it. Then they went to names and then they've changed to like this. So I know that this guy is old. It's well over three years old. So I'm going to put this guy in the bin. I'm going to pass this one on as it's a kind of a pretty pink colour but I prefer more of a blue tone pink. I feel like I remember it not applying that nicely so I'm going to declutter that one. This one is like a chunky glitter but in a glass colour, really unique. I'm going to keep that one too. These ones are really unique from Gel Bustle, they're like the diamond ones and they're really pretty, pretty so I'm going to keep them. This colour is also so unique so I'll keep that one too. Keeping that one. the ones that i feel like i had doubles of in here yeah so this is the madame glam one which is called pure energy and then this is the gel bottle link one which is babe hashtag babe and they're almost identical i think i will keep oh i don't know i think i'll keep the gel bottle link one because it's got more in it my battery just cut out sorry guys but yeah i'm gonna declutter this one keep the gel bottle one because it's got more in it um, and they're literally identical. I've almost filled up one whole drawer. This is like a milky white colour, I think, so that can stay because that's really useful. That one can stay too. That can stay. That can stay. Okay, that's one drawer completely full. I think I'm gonna have to go through some more of these because I can't fit all these in. Hey guys, it's 45 minutes later since you saw me. This was meant to be when I was done with all the gels, but I'm just like halfway through all the gel bottle ink colors. There's just so many. I'm not good at declustering. I seriously need to go on one of those shows where they declutter for you because I'm clearly not very good at this. I'm decluttering this one. That makes seven. <laughs> I'm really struggling. I'm gonna kind of work my way through some more of these colors because I, say, I feel like I filmed so much already. I feel like you're gonna get sick of me sorting through gels and not being very good at decluttering them. So I'm gonna try and get through some of them off camera and then I'll come back and show you the final result of all the gels and hope and pray I can fit them into those four drawers. Okay guys, please ignore my 
slider and socks situation but here is the final look this is everything i've decluttered and these in this section here are all anything that is brand new and um, that hasn't been used and was kind of gifted to me that i'm gonna put in a giveaway for you guys i may split it up put it in some separate giveaways but i'm just gonna pop it in my giveaway drawer for now for future giveaways and yeah these are all the gels I've decluttered. I decluttered quite a lot of the gel water link ones, quite a lot of Magpie ones with glitter bells, and quite a lot of Madame Glam ones. And then there also is this box here, which is my bin box, which is old gel, gels that are out of date, the consistency and the smells changed, and they're a little bit funky. So they're going straight into the bin. So I feel like I've done really well, and they all fit into the four drawers, which is the goal. I think there will definitely be a round to declutter in the future somewhere, as I definitely want to get all these gels downsized a little bit more so that I've got room to grow. But my goal was to just have these four drawers for gels and I've done it. Step one complete. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move on to the nail varnish drawer. Not sure how much I'll declutter, but some of these polishes are very, very old. So it needs to go straight in the bin. Probably like eight, nine years old, maybe even longer. Polishes definitely do last a while. Like this one I know I've had since I was so young. So that one I think needs to go. What I'm gonna do first is take out all of the different top coats and base coats and like strengtheners and that kind of thing. I've kind of got them along the front here. So I think it'll be easy to just grab them all out. sorted them out into colours. I feel like this is quite satisfying seeing them like this, but I'm not sure if the drawer will close them standing up. <gasps> it does. Remember guys, I'm not organising these in this video, just decluttering. You'll have to stay tuned for my whole organisation video. I've ordered a ton of organisational things. I'll have to do a haul on that before I film the organisation video for you guys so you can see all the things that I've ordered. So that's all I'm going to do for this drawer. And then the top drawer up here, this has just got cases and things like that for storing bits and bobs in. So what's this? This is a brush holder. I don't think I'll get any use out of this. So I think I'm going to pass that on and deposit that. Might even put that in the giveaway because it's not even been used. I'm going to keep my navy charlotte case. It's really good. It has lots of storage in it. And I'm also going to keep this. This is really good storage because it has those brush loops, but it also has other compartments at the back. And then it's got deep storage underneath here, like a massive bucket storage. And then this back here, this is an e-file bit book case thing. I haven't used it and probably won't use it because I like to have my e-file bit stored in a more compact way. So I'll pop that into the giveaway as it hasn't been used. And this is from Willow. So I'm pop that into the giveaway as well. Okay, so that's cleared out that drawer nicely. Just keep the two that I use the most for now. So it's spared up some space. So over on this side, in the top drawer, I have all my client file boxes. So keeping them in there. This drawer is all camera equipment and stuff for YouTube. Next drawer down is also camera equipment. This is gonna stay like this for now. Another drawer full of camera equipment and bits and bobs, batteries in here. This can all stay because I use these all the time. This drawer could definitely do with a sort out. It's kind of my junk drawer. I've got my certificates in this folder here. I think I've got some more file boxes in there, file storage boxes. Oh, and then underneath, I've got my very essential for all nail techs, Doug Schoon books, all in there, my educational nail books. They're really important, they are staying. I think I'm just gonna leave this drawer. Okay guys, I'm just sitting on the floor now because I want to go through this last drawer. This is where I keep 
all of my acrylic powder. I don't do acrylic anymore. I am trained in acrylic. I do like to have this here. On off chance that I want to have a play with acrylic. I don't use it on clients or anything or myself. But it's nice to use for nail art and things. However, I don't need all of it. So I'm going to declutter some of the things that I don't use. First of all, these forms. I never use them. I tried them and I never got on with them. They didn't stick very well. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm also going to declutter these. These are okay, but I didn't really like the way they fit. So I'm going to get rid of them as well. But we're off to a good start. All of these nail nail ones, I'm going to declutter because I never really used them. They're really pretty, but I found the pigment quite sticky. So I'm going to declutter all of them. And then I'm going to keep the brushes in here. These are all the CJP acrylic powders. I'm going to keep all of them because when I did use acrylic more, I did really like them. These acrylics were all from Ugly Duckling. I really loved those and enjoyed them. Beautiful consistency, really easy to work with. So I'm gonna keep them as well. And then these down here, they are four powders from CJP. I still even have some of the old packaging, which is like this. I think I've got two of that one. Yeah, I've got two of that. So I'm gonna declutter that one because I don't need two. That'll be it. This leaves me with enough to play around. I have a few different colours in there. I'm going to leave it like that. It's definitely a lot better. I can actually see what I've got in there now, which is good. So yeah, I think I'm going to move on to this drawer next. This is where I keep all of the Prey System and the Poly Gel I have. So the Gelish Poly Gel. I'm pretty sure this was Recall that's what it's called if that's what it's called like where they um send out for it to be sent back because they're having issues with it so i'm not sure that this formula is even available to buy anymore because yeah i know they had lots of issues with it i did the training for this with gelish now harmony and poly gel really enjoyed the training although i found it was very bendy the the poly gel so i never really ended up using it i ended up getting some of the madam glam poly gel and i really really liked it It was much more hard wearing really easy to work with so i'm gonna keep the madam glam ones and declutter the jellish ones i think i even might have to just put these into the bin because i don't think they're good to use on nails anymore so yeah i'm gonna declutter them at the front here is where i keep all of my apre gel x tips I'm gonna keep all of these, although I don't use them much. They're really great for doing a quick set of extensions if you need them for a client or for myself if I wanna have a play around. I love this collection here. It's really fun with all the bright colors. I've also got in here the base coat and ph bond from gelish that you had to use with the poly gel so i don't need these anymore but they are still good they're pretty much full bottles so i'll declutter them but find someone that uses them and pass them on that's it for that drawer i'm happy with that i think that drawer is done 